If you're thinking about starting a website in 2025, one of the first things you'll need is web hosting. Now, if you're new to this, don't worry. I'll explain everything in the simplest way possible. Web hosting is basically where your website lives on the internet. Think of it like renting space for your website, just like you'd rent an apartment to live in. Without web hosting, your website has nowhere to go and nobody can see it. But choosing the right web hosting can be tricky, especially when you're just starting out. The most important things to look for in beginner-friendly hosting are ease of use, reliability, and good customer support. If you've never built a website before, you want something that's simple, not overly complicated with a million confusing settings. A good hosting provider will make it easy for you to get your website up and running in just a few clicks. Speed is also super important because nobody wants to wait around for a slow loading site. And if you ever get stuck, you'll want to have a support team that's available to help you 24-7. So, which web hosting providers are best for beginners in 2025? There are a lot of choices out there, but some stand out because they're easy to use, affordable, and beginner-friendly. One of the best options is Bluehost. It's one of the most popular hosting providers and is officially recommended by WordPress, which is a platform most websites run on. Bluehost makes everything super simple, even if you have no experience. They give you a free domain for the first year, which means you don't have to buy a separate website name. They also include a free SSL certificate, which is just a fancy way of saying your website will be secure. Plus, if you ever get stuck, Bluehost has 24-7 customer support, so there's always someone available to help. Another great option is Hostinger. Hostinger is one of the most affordable hosting providers, making it perfect if you're on a tight budget. Even though it's cheap, it still offers great speed and reliability. It also has an easy-to-use dashboard, which makes managing your website super simple. Then there's SiteGround. If you're looking for something really fast and reliable, SiteGround is a great choice. It's a little more expensive than Bluehost or Hostinger, but it's known for its excellent customer support and website speed. If you want a hosting provider that will give you top-notch performance, this is a solid option. Now, before you choose a hosting plan, let's talk about a few common hosting terms you might come across. You'll hear about shared hosting, VPS hosting, and dedicated servers. And if that sounds confusing, don't worry, I'll explain. Shared hosting is the most affordable option and the best choice for beginners. With shared hosting, your website shares a server with other websites, kind of like living in an apartment building. It's cheap and works great for small websites. But if your site starts growing, you might need to upgrade. That's where VPS hosting comes in. VPS stands for Virtual Private Server, and it's like upgrading from an apartment to a townhouse. You still share the building, but you get more space and control. Then there's dedicated hosting, which is like owning a whole house. It's expensive and only needed for really big websites. So beginners usually don't need to worry about it. Setting up a website might seem complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. First, you'll choose a hosting provider like Bluehost. Then you'll pick a domain name, which is your website's address. After that, you can install WordPress with just one click, and that's where you'll design and manage your website. From there, you can pick a theme, customize your site, and start adding content. Once your site is live, there are a few things you'll want to focus on. SEO is important, which just means making sure your website can be found on Google. Website speed is also a big deal. Nobody likes slow websites, so picking a fast hosting provider like Bluehost or SiteGround helps a lot. And since most people browse on their phones, making sure your website looks good on mobile is a must. At the end of the day, Bluehost is one of the best choices for beginners. It's easy to use, affordable, and packed with everything you need to get started. Plus, right now, you can save up to 80% off, which means you get hosting for just a few bucks a month. And if you're not sure about committing, they have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it risk-free. If you decide it's not for you, you get a full refund. So, if you've been thinking about starting a website, now is the time to do it. Whether you go with Bluehost, Hostinger, or SiteGround, the most important thing is to get started. Your website isn't going to build itself. And the sooner you get hosting, the sooner you can start bringing your ideas to life. And if this helped, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more tips.